Hi guys, I hope you're well. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on a palette for you guys. It is the Illamasqua Sculpting Palette. There are six shades in this palette, one being shimmery and then all the others are matte in the palette. All of these shades I do believe are permanent items at Illamasqua, but they have put it into one palette that you can use for sculpting. So I'm going to be using this on both my eyes and also on my cheeks um, just to kind of see how this palette performs and if I think it's worth the money. Whew, I'm getting out of breath. I've never done a first impressions like this before, so I hope it goes well. So yeah, let's just get started. So I guess the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the second shade in the palette, which is this one here, and I'm going to apply that to the under eye area and also to anywhere else on my face that I did highlight with concealer. I can already tell that it has picked up a lot of product and I am already starting to get a tiny little bit of fly up if you can see it here, there. So I'm just going to pat this underneath my eyes. Oh wow, this powder is super light. Very pigmented powder. So now I'm going to be taking the third shade in the palette, which is this one, and I'm going to contour my nose. This is also super pigmented, so I am going to tap off the excess on the back of my hand. So now I'm also going to take this shade here and I'm going to contour out my cheeks. This is a super grey shade, but it is making an amazing contour colour. I feel like it definitely does look a lot nicer on camera than it does in real life though. This shade is definitely not as powdery as the first shade that I used. So far I do like those two shades that I've used, they're relatively um, buildable and also blendable. I'm going to take this shade now and I'm going to go over the parameters of my face just to kind of bronze my face a little bit. This shade is really pigmented, like really, really pigmented. It's making me look really sunburnt on the top of my head. But it still definitely does blend out quite easily though. So I'm going to mix the this shade here with the top grey shade just to kind of neutralise it a little bit. And then I'm going to contour out my, my jawline. Okay, so to highlight the face, I'm going to be taking the top shade here. It's called Rush. Oh, I don't know if I like this one. It's quite chunky. This is definitely a more chunky highlight instead of a smooth highlight because I did dust a little bit on the top of my eyebrow and it was just all chunky glitter. But look at my highlight on camera though. Whee! The highlight does look a lot better on camera than what it does in real life. In real life, it looks really chunky. Okay, I'm really not liking this highlight shade. It looks like it's not blended at all, but I have blended it. I don't really know how to fix this. Hopefully this performs better on the eyes because so far I'm not impressed with how it looks like on my face. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this shade here and I'm going to apply that to my crease. I did already prime my eyes using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Now I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to highlight my brow bone. That does make a really pretty under eye highlight shade. Or under brow bone highlight shades, should I say. I'm just going to take a little bit of the grey shade and now I'm going to take a little bit of this bottom shade now I'm going to take the brush highlight shade and apply that to the lid I'm going to use this shade here and apply that to the lower lashes I do admit these shades are really blendable and that I do like, but I just, I don't know, this palette just seems really odd to me. I feel like this look isn't really dark enough for my liking, but at the same time there's no colour darker than this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my fake eyelashes and just do the rest of my makeup and then I will be right back. 
Okay, so I'm back. I did apply some fake eyelashes, a bit of lipstick, and I also applied a bit of Illamasqua Tremble Blush just to kind of pull things together. I'm not a big blush person by any means, but I did feel like I was needing it today um, because I don't feel like this palette really was all that great. The only shade that I really like out of this palette, which I will probably continue to use, is this one here. It's called Heroin. But besides that, I don't think this palette is all that great. Like, Rush, it was really, really chunky when I applied it. I had to go over with my powder brush so much just to buff it out to make it look smooth. So it was just so much effort and it's like, I have so many other highlights that I don't need to do that. Like, mm. but overall this palette, I think it's like 70 bucks at retail store at Maya. I don't think it's worth $70. Like the only shade that I really would recommend for you guys to get that I think is quite nice is this heroin shade. I think it'd be really, really nice for contouring as well as an eyeshadow. And I know they sell it as a single, but a palette as a whole, I don't like it. I feel like it's too much effort for what it's worth. And yeah, that's my final opinion. Like, don't get me wrong. It's not a bad palette. It's just for me, it's more effort than what it's worth. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Comment down below what else you'd like to see from me. And I will see you next time. Bye.